Right, hiya. I have not done a video in over a month. It's like a month and a half now, which is crazy. Uh, today's the last day of June. It's June 30th here, and I don't think I've done a video since like mid-May, maybe even early May. So I really do apologise for that. Uh, a lot's gone on since then. Um, a lot of people know that uh, this time of year is exams for whether you're at uni, whether you're at school, whether you're at college, whether you're at sixth form or whatever, it's exams, you know, or finals, as you call it in the US, probably, um, excuse me, um, so yeah, uh, I've been, I was busy, um, with that during May, and I've come home, you probably noticed I'm, well, no, you probably haven't, though. but this is, this is a different background to normal, because uh, I'm at home now, I'm at home for the summer, and I've been working a lot, um, I work in a holiday camp shop, and I've been working a fair bit <laughs> already, and um, yeah, it's quite time consuming and ru I, I run the shop myself, um, you know, it's me and one other guy and he does some days, I do some days and we just run the shop, um, which is quite cool, you know, it's nice because I'm on my own uh, when I run it and he's on his own when he runs it, so there's just nobody like looking over my shoulder or anything and just, you know, I can just do like, you know, I'm kind of my own boss for the day, you know, there's nobody to boss me around shall we say and I just do you know everything at my own pace and you know uh, I don't have to leave at a certain time I just yeah you know I shot I shut the shop when the I shut the shop that's a tongue twister I shut the shop when the shop closes <laughs> uh, but you know I can the stuff I have to do afterwards like cash up and um bring in the stands and stuff, I can just do it in my own time, which is quite nice. Anyway, this that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video, actually, I'm going to talk about, um, I, I, that was just a little update of my channel, but in this video I'm going to talk about um, confidence, and confidence in oneself as well. And I want to tell you a little story, and uh, a lot of you will find this interesting, some of you know it, because I actually mentioned, I've been doing a lot of live streams recently, and I do live streams Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, so if you're around tonight, it's Thursday today, I'm going to be doing a live stream tonight, and I do it from English time, it's about um, midnight until about 2am, so I'll do like a two hour live stream-ish, and um, yeah, uh, the, you know, I think the uh, the west coast of America is about four hours, five hours behind, and then the east coast is like six, so, so it, it's, you know, early evening for most of you if you're in America. Um, I tend to get American viewers because it is very late in the UK and I'm sorry for that. I just tend to do live streams um, when everyone's in bed. But anyway, let's, let's <laughs> get on a tangent again. Um, but yeah, um, I do a lot of live streams now, basically. Um, but in one of my live streams, I talk about confidence and how uh, it, mine like, changed uh, very quickly um, from being uh, feeling really crap about myself, thinking I'm like really super ugly to thinking I'm just worthless, to thinking, I, you know, just I hating myself, to, you know, that I could be, you know, not the worst looking guy in the world, you know, I'm okay, and all this changed because of one little thing, and it, it's really bizarre that this occurred, and uh, there's a twist ending as well, um, which uh, makes this story even more interesting. And it's kind of sad, but kind of interesting at the same time, because it will affect uh, a lot of people in the same way. Uh, it might not affect you in the same way if it happened to you, but it affected me. Uh, uh, where does that? Three years ago, I, I made, li literally almost exactly three years ago, um, my friends came over for my birthday. Uh, two of them, uh, they're twins, and... Uh, one of my friend, one of the twins, has a had a girlfriend at the time, and the girlfriend said, because we 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 just made an Instagram account for some reason, just for that night. I'd never had an Instagram before, and I never really knew exactly what it was three years ago. And yeah, we made an Instagram account, and um, uh, he told his girlfriend, and his girlfriend like said, "I bet you can't get more likes than me on one of your photos." And one of her photos was like twenty five likes. It wasn't that many. But if you've just started up an Instagram account, getting that is quite hard. So what we discovered was, if we put a load of, back then, if you got a load of hashtags, 
uh, like all the generic ones and like really sad ones really then you get um, a fair few likes like people see the posts and people like them and on some of the photos we're getting like 40 plus likes 50 plus likes and we gained like 400 followers it was my account, it was under my name, um, it, you know, it was in my house, it was on my iPad, etc. And I regained like 400 followers in that night. And we were like, whoa, mate, like, this is crazy. Like, people must think we're like attractive or something. And um, after they left, I carried on this account. And I carried on um, taking weird, like, just selfies and stuff. And people were liking them. And some of the photos I was getting like 400 plus likes. And I was like, whoa, like, I must be somewhat attracted. And it was a huge, huge confidence boost. I tried to look my best. I did my hair every day and, like, what I did before. Um, you know, I cared about the way I looked. I cared about, you know, whether there were spots on my face or not and, like, covering them up and stuff. Suddenly I cared a lot about my appearance, which I didn't before, because I suddenly saw some sort of attractiveness in myself, which I didn't before, so I just didn't bother doing anything like that. So I wanted to bring that out, which was crazy. And I gained... 5,500 followers, over 5,500 followers in less than three weeks, which was mad. It was, it was like, it was about two weeks actually. And after 5,500, it just got, sort of stopped. It stopped at that amount for like ages, but it was still amazing. And the twist ending is, you know, and it gained my confidence up over time. It, it, like, even people at school started to see my, see my um, Instagram account and be like, whoa, how, how has he gained this man? amount of followers this is crazy but the twist ending is all of those were fake accounts and all of the likes well most of them anyway the large majority came from fake accounts and i'm not sure if anyone is aware but about two or so years ago just less than two years ago i think a year and a half ago um instagram um went away and um got rid of all the fake accounts from their thing and this led to like big accounts like the kim kardashians etc losing Hundreds of thousands, even millions in her case, uh, followers, because it was just fake accounts following her, so it kind of got rid of them. Um, and I lost 98% of my followers. I went from 5,500 followers to just over 100, which I believe, like, just 2% of the followers that I originally had, yeah? If my maths is right. Um, but yeah, it was it was crazy. Like, just from that day... Just seeing that I'd lost so many followers in just so little time, you know, because they just eradicated all of them in, in a day, uh, was was is crazy. And you know, so if you go onto my Instagram now, it's the same account. Um, I only have like I think I have like two hundred and fifty now because a lot of people have followed me from YouTube, on there. Um, but it was crazy, uh, and I've deleted now. Uh, only recently I've deleted all of my old posts. And all of that, they all post with it. Well, not all of them. I think there's a couple at the start with the hashtags on. But I deleted all the old selfies. There was there was several hundred of them. And they've all gone now. Um, but even though that occurred, and even though I lost all of them, and knew that all of these were actually fake accounts that were liking my photos, it still gave me the confidence boost. And it just made you, makes you think, doesn't it? That... I felt that my beauty, beauty is a bad word for, yeah, I felt that, you know, my appearance and my attractiveness, uh, I made it determined uh, by everyone else, like how attractive I was. So with everyone else liking my photos and following my account, wanting to see more of me, uh, I, I kind of let them determine that I was attractive rather than determine it for myself. And I think that's the case for uh, a lot of people. You know, not just myself, I mean, like, a lot of people. The majority of the world, which is why so many people, you know, take perhaps selfies and stuff. You know, they want the acceptance of other people. You know, they want likes, um, even if they refuse to admit it. Um, perhaps why some... I don't want to... No, I, I don't want to say that, just... But, like, you know, some guys, and I'm sure it's the same for, you know, it's the same for girls too, but some guys may tense their muscles in their photo to try and you know, make them seem more attractive and try and get the acceptance of other people, you know, to make them seem more attractive. Because at the end of the day, we're all looking for other people to, to define us as this, um, you know, as beautiful or as or buff or 
or whatever, you know, we can't determine it for ourselves fully. Because you need, thinking about it is kind of sad, but hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. And it, I just, you know, I just want to say that I understand, like, if you, like, hearing people say that they think they're, like, from mess even messages and stuff, um, that they're not, they don't see themselves as attractive or they see themselves as, like, just a slump or just someone who just, just doesn't do anything or just, because they just have no confidence in themselves. It, it just, it, it tells me a lot about how they've been perceived in the past. And I know I felt exactly like that, you know, like, because when I was bullied back in school, I think I did a video on that, you know, it did make me feel crap because a lot of people would bully me because of my appearance. I used to have really bad acne and I used to be called pizza face because pizza has like, like pepper, you know, some have like pepperoni bits or red bits that made it look spotty, and I was like that or something, or, or you know, or acne kid was one that you know someone was determined to call me, and I I was a lot bigger back then, um, physically in size, um, I know this jumper body doesn't do me much justice now, I probably would still look quite big, but I'm nowhere near as I am. I actually weigh less now than I did in like year nine, uh, less now that I'm twenty, in comparison to when I was like fourteen, fifteen, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it, it affected me, it affected me mentally for sure. And I, I can, I'm so sorry if you've been through that to make you see yourself as less attractive because of all these bullies or something. Cause they're, cause they're saying that you're like that and you believe it yourself, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy, anyone? No. Um, basically if somebody labels you as a, unattractive, if somebody labels, labels you as a failure, then you're more likely to believe that you are a failure failure just as like if somebody says you're good at that you're more likely to believe that you are good at that okay it's called the self-fulfilling prophecy so labels turn into that okay so that's the bad thing about labels you know um but yeah so i hope you know i hope this puts across some sort of message that you just don't need to look for acceptance because people are harsh and people are kind of horrible and they look for the wrong things um to be fair, they don't look for the beauty, you know, and that's that's wrong, and I hate society for that. So thank you for watching anyway. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for so, so long. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. I think it's quite a nice video to come back on. If you did, put it, give it a thumbs up as per usual. And yeah, it's nice seeing you all again. Um, I'll speak to you all a bit in a bit.